one C. Day and night. Day, night. One, vocabulary. Put the days of the week. A week contains seven days. Seven days are in one week. In the correct order. Correct order means which day comes first? It's Sunday. Okay, what comes after Sunday? It's Monday. Write 1 to 7, then listen and check your answers. Do that now. Now repeat after me. Sunday. Sunday. Mon. Monday. Two. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thur, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One more time. Sunday, Monday, two. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Notice something. The first letter of each day is always capital uppercase not small we always do this with the days of the week what day is it today today means this day the day that we are in right now today i'm recording this video on saturday the first of april 2019 look in some countries like in the United States in many countries America and other countries the first day is not Sunday in America the first day is Monday in Saudi Arabia and other countries, not only Saudi Arabia, the first day is Sunday. What's the time? Let's learn how to tell the time. This is what we call the hour hand, the short hand. The long hand is called the minute hand. When the minute hand is exactly at 12, we say it's and then we read the hour hand for it's four o'clock it's four o'clock what's the time now it's five past four you know that in one hour we have 60 minutes five ten fifteen sixty minutes if the minute hand is at 1, that means 5 minutes have passed after 4. So we say it's 5 past 4. Now, after 5 minutes, it will be 4 o'clock. So we say it's 5 to 4. 5, that means after 5 minutes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After five minutes, it will be four, so we say it's five to four. If the minute hand is at two, we say it's ten past four. If it's at three, we don't say fifteen, we say quarter. A quarter, it's a quarter past four. Quarter. It's twenty past four, it's twenty-five past four. If it's at six, we say half, not half, no, half. It's half past four. If it's at seven, we say 25. It's 25 to four. It's 20 to four. It's a quarter to four, a quarter. It's 10 to four. It's five to four. Okay, easy. Now, Look at the clocks and complete the time. Then listen and check your answers. 
it's seven o'clock here, it's four o'clock, it's ten past nine, here it's ten past eleven, it's a quarter past two, it's a quarter past six, it's half past four, here it's half past ten. It's a quarter to three. It's not a quarter to two. No, because after 15 minutes, after 15, it will not be two. It will be three. So it's a quarter to three. Here, after 15 minutes, it will be nine. So it's a quarter to nine. It's 20 to 11. It's 20 to one. Look, if it's 12 o'clock exactly in the middle of the night, we say it's midnight. Midnight means the middle of the night or 12 a.m. If it's 12 o'clock in the middle of the day, we say it's midday, the middle of the day or noon it's noon it's 12 p.m from 12 a.m to 12 p.m is the daytime daytime we use a.m after 12 a.m it's 1 a.m 2 a.m 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 a.m and then comes 12 p.m at noon and from 12 p.m. till 12 a.m. it's the night time when we see somebody from 12 a.m. till 12 p.m. what do we say we can say hi hello or good morning good morning when we leave we can say goodbye Goodbye. From 12 p.m. till 6. From 12 to 6. What do we say? We can say hi, hello, or good afternoon. Good afternoon. And when we leave, we can say goodbye. From 6 p.m. from here. 6 p.m. till 12 a.m. We can say hi, hello, or good evening, good evening. And when we leave, we say good night. Is it correct to say goodbye? Yes, you can say goodbye, or you can say good night, good night, I'm leaving, goodbye, good night. Now look and complete with the words in the box, then listen and check your answers. It's 7.45 in the morning, we say good morning. It's 4 p.m., the teacher says good afternoon class. The anchor is reading the news at 9.15. 9.15, it's a quarter past nine. So he says good evening. Now somebody is going to bed. Somebody wants to sleep, so he says Good night, go and sleep. Good night. Two, read. Listen to the dialogue, then read it out in pairs. Good evening, Amin. Good evening, Amin. You mean, good morning. It's Thursday morning here in Riyadh. What's the time in New York? You mean, good morning. It's Thursday morning here in Riyadh. What's the time in New York? You mean, what you are trying to say. It's nine in the evening here, and it's Wednesday. What's the time in Riyadh? 
It's nine in the evening here, and it's Wednesday. What's the time in Riyadh? It's five in the morning. It's five in the morning. There is an exclamation mark here. This is called exclamation mark. Means, why are you calling me now? It's five in the morning. He is not happy. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Bye, Dave. Dave is saying that he is sorry. Amin is not happy. Why? Because Dave is calling at five in the morning. Maybe Amin was asleep. Read again and complete the table. Who lives in New York? That's Dave. Who lives in Riyadh? That's Amin. What day is it in New York? It's Wednesday. However, in Riyadh, it's Thursday morning. What's the time in New York? It's nine. In Riyadh, it's five. Three, listen. Listen to the dialogues and choose A or B. Before you listen, read the questions and the answers carefully with attention. Read the question and the answer. This way you can find the correct answer easily. Listen. Three, listen. Listen to the dialogues and choose A or B. One. OK, Oliver. What day is it today? Write it on the board, please. Um, it's Tuesday. OK. How do you spell it? T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Two. Hey, James. What's the time? It's half past. Half past what? Half past eight. Are you sure? Um, oops. It's half past nine. OK, thanks. Three. Yes, it's Thursday today. It's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. Really? Yes. Oh, OK. Four. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. You mean good afternoon. Why? What's the time? Look at the clock. It's noon. Oh, is it? Well, good afternoon then. 1. What day is it today? OK, Oliver. What day is it today? Write it on the board. Right here, on the board, please. Um, it's Tuesday. Correct. How do you spell that? T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. It's Tuesday. What's the time? Hey, James. Hey, hi, hello, the same thing. What's the time? It's half past... Uh, it's half past what? It's half past eight. Are you sure? Maybe you need to check your answer. Are you sure? Check if you are right or wrong. Um, oops, it's half past nine. Okay, thanks. So it's half past nine. Half past nine. What day is it today? Yes, it's Thursday today. It's not Thursday, it's Wednesday. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure, really? Yes, I'm sure. It's Wednesday, not Thursday. Wednesday. What's the time? Good morning, Karen. Good morning? Question mark. What's that? Good morning? You mean good afternoon. It's afternoon. It's not morning. Why? Tell me the reason. What's the time? Look at the clock. It's noon. It's noon. It's 12 p.m. Oh, is it? 
Well, okay. Good afternoon then. So it's 12 p.m. 4. Speak. Guessing game. When you guess, you give an answer without knowing if it's correct or incorrect. Find the clock. When you find the clock, you try to search for the right clock. Talk in pairs. Student A, choose a clock. When you choose, you select. You pick one of these clocks. Choose a clock, pick a clock, and don't tell student B. Don't let student B know about the clock you've chosen. Student A has chosen the yellow clock. Now, student B ask questions to find the clock student A has chosen, the one that student A has picked out. Okay, student B will ask, what day is it today? Well, it's Monday. It's Monday. Well, that means this can't be the correct clock. This can't be the correct clock. Not this and not this. It could be either the pink one or the yellow one. What's the time? This one, half past two. This one, a quarter past two. It's half past two. Oh, that means it's the yellow clock. Is it the yellow clock? Yes, it is. You're smart. You're very smart. You're good. Now, let's try this one more time. Student B becomes student A. Student A becomes student B. This time, student A has chosen the green clock. Student B will ask, What day is it today? It's Sunday. Sunday. That means it could be the green clock or the blue clock. What's the time? It's 20 past 5. This one, it's 5 past 6. Is it the blue clock? No, no, it's not the blue clock. No, it's not. Is it the green clock? Yes, this time you're right. Yes, it is. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I will catch you in the next video, inshallah. Until then, goodbye.